Hi everyone, Arlen here. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to my country craft corner in my car. <laughs> I'm driving out of my neighborhood right now and I am wanting to go to Hobby Lobby. I haven't been for like a day. No, I haven't been for several days. And I just want to go see what they have on sale. And I'm starting in on my April budget here coming up on it. I give myself, as you guys know, a monthly budget. And I don't know. I just want to look around and see if they have anything that meets my fancy for once. Just to just to go look. I'm not even sure I'm gonna buy anything. For those of you who saw my car chat from yesterday, I have red and white gingham in my head now. Thinking about that will be the next thing I go to for late spring kind of not late spring but say May sometime in May start doing that and bringing in the red and white gingham again into my you know lantern decor and I don't think I will take it into the living room and dining room you guys know I have the uh, green color as the accent color in there so I really don't think that I would take the red and white gingham in there although I did for my family reunion decor I did take it on into there I don't think I would for the you know for everyday decor just without having something special I think I'll keep it into the greens and the soft hues in there but just do the fireplace and the family room and the you know the kitchen and the island and the kitchen windows and do all those places you know and, and kind of pull in a little bit of red and white gingham and mason jars and pops of true red not burgundy but red so which I love red is one of my favorite colors but I tend not to decorate with that all year through I don't know why but I just have never done that so, plus it gives me something to decorate with, huh? <laughs> so, I think that might be my next little task. So, later on today, I need to go and then I'm either going to meet Chris at Costco with our van. As y'all know, we have that minivan and it is pretty much the only time that we use it. Hang on here, let me turn out pretty much the only time we use it is to transport the news we have to get our cars inspected and they have to pass state inspection so we have to get it inspected and the tires were worn to a frazzle on that van and um, it is it was used to be my only mode of transportation so and I have traveled quite a lot in that van with the news I've traveled to southern Virginia to North Carolina up to Michigan to New York I mean that van has been around and it only still only has like I want to say 55,000 miles on it because when we live where we lived before we were closer to town so when I would go and, and go to town it would take me like five minutes to get there and it wasn't very far so when we built this house I started to come out here every day and I would bring Sophie with me she got the habit of coming with me so we'd come out and we'd check out to see what was going on with the house and you know kept an eye on everything in a nice very nice cordial way brought them pound cake one day the people the workers pound cake <laughs> it's a southern thing I guess too but anyway so that van though it needs some uh you know some attention some tlc so we are going to drop it off at costco because chris ordered tires from costco and they are going to put the tires on while we are going to dinner so we're going to eat a later dinner today for us we're we're like two older folks who like to eat early usually the big meal of the day you know early but this time we'll eat uh, a little later so I told him I said I said what what are you fixing to do and he said no I don't know I'm just gonna hang around here and I said okay I said well I'm gonna get in my car and go on to Hobby Lobby we are I've been moving my camera around he got me this spiffy 
camera holder that has a big suction cup that and it's stuck to the windshield right now and I noticed my phone kind of bobbing up and down a little bit when I get out here on the road I'll see when I upload this and see if we need to tweak this at all maybe snug it into the windshield a little bit more it has an arm on it and the arm is kind of stuck out so I apologize if you're noticing any vibrating or or bouncing of my it's actually my cell phone my iPhone but I don't know so I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere else I'm just gonna head to Hobby Lobby and tool around in there a little bit probably take the phone in with me because I seem to be able to upload any footage from Hobby Lobby I have no idea why that is because when I go into home goods they go no copyright copyright Whoa, alert alert you can't you know you can't put that that in I'm like or that up and I'm like but Hobby Lobby I can't so I don't know maybe they have a deal with YouTube I really don't know I don't know what the deal is with that but So I will go in there with my mind on red and white gingham and mason jars. I just bought that big black plaque that has a mason jar on it. So but we'll see. My budget's burning a hole in my pocket. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm itching to, to, I'm always thinking ahead, you guys. My little brain, I wish I could find my off switch. I really do. And that goes not just for my decorating, but, uh, you know, when I go to bed at night, for instance, I have to do crossword puzzles or read. Pull right out in front of me, buddy. I don't mind. You go right ahead. You must be in one daggum hurry to get somewhere, huh? You go ahead. Let me get out of your way. I'll get over here in this light. Anyway, uh, even when I go to bed at night, I can't find my off switch. I can I have to either read or like I say do crossword puzzles or I do work with friends on my phone. I, I answer questions. I'm the admin in an Alaska group on Facebook. Alaska Princess Cruises Alaska group on Facebook. Let me know if y'all want to join that. I'm the, one of the admins in there so I'm, I'm always answering questions trying to help folks you know in there. So I but I pretty much have to do things, do something until I just crash. Because I just cannot just lay there and try to go to sleep. Isn't that awful? I'm just, my mind is always a whirl. It's always done and always thinking about what's next. What am I doing tomorrow? I'm, you know, very organized and always ready for the next project. <laughs> I'm, there's never a lack of energy. I should be very grateful for, I guess, huh? I should be very, very, very grateful for that. That I'm still able to put, as my friend Karen said one day, she said one day, I'm still able to put my feet on the floor and take my first step and and walk with no pain. And I can't say that every day because I'm a dag on knees, but I can, you know get around to do most anything I want to do and for that I'm very 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 grateful still have my health and still have my my faculties you know my mom passed away of Alzheimer's and you know of course that's always in the back of your mind and I do believe that there is a test that I can go and take a blood test if I want to find out and I don't think I do really don't want to, I mean, I'm, I'm preparing every day anyway with, with these YouTube videos now, with my blogging, you know, I'm preparing my children to know what my life was about and who I knew and where I'd gone and, you know, all those questions that I still have for my mom, I'm trying to answer every day for my children so that they know and so that they have a legacy and a history a history and a legacy and can look back on their mama and be and say oh I know where mom was on that day or you know whatever see y'all should know I talk to y'all like you're my 
right here with me because <laughs> I cry every time I'm on my way to Dagon Hobby Lobby. What is the deal? Anyway. It's a horrible disease. Oh, I mean, there are many, don't get me wrong, many horrible diseases. Cancer is horrible. Heart disease is horrible. You know, uh, there are a plethora of, you know, you ladies who suffer with fibromyalgia. I mean, that is horrible. I know several people who suffer with that, and my heart goes out to you. Oh, my gracious girls. It really does. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. Alzheimer's is... I guess it's something I think about. I don't dwell on it, thank goodness. I don't dwell on it every day thinking, oh, I'm going to get Alzheimer's. Ooh. I don't think about it like that. I think I worry more for my girls and Chris than I do for myself, you know. I don't want them to have to become caregivers. And I told Chris, I said, put me, make sure I'm well cared for, but put me somewhere where... You know, you don't necessarily have to do the everyday tasks, you know. Just bring me ice cream every now and again. I like me some ice cream. That's my favorite thing, ice cream. One of my favorite things, that cheesecake. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my goodness. I'm actually gonna park right up here up front. Shh, don't tell anybody. Never do this. There's not many people here today, so I'm just gonna scooch right in here. Alrighty, we're here. Let me grab a phone off of its little holder there, and we'll go into Hobby Lobby and see what we can find. Okie dokie, here we go, into Hobby Lobby. I think you guys know this store as well as I do now. Do. Hi, thank you so much. I don't know whether any of you are planning a wedding or having have children who are planning a wedding, but if you have a Hobby Lobby by you and are doing, you know, some of the, you know, cute little things yourself. I love that. Today I marry my best friend, the one I laugh with, dream with, pray for, and love. That's awesome. Pick a seat, not a side. You're loved by both the groom and bride. Cute. So, anyway, I just think that's, they have a lot of stuff like that. I know I saw Red and White Gingham in here the other day, and Ribbon is on sale. But I do believe... I have some at home, and I'm not going to buy anything until I check my, of course now I find coral color ribbon, look at that, that is pretty, that would have been pretty with my Easter stuff, but anyway, I'm not going to buy that right now, because I don't think I need it, look at this, this red and white game, remember I told you guys how fast it sells out, look at this, it's almost gone, they have two, and we are at the beginning of the week here. So I don't need that. I just made that wreath. So, now these are on sale. All these garlands are on sale. I have this one. And I think that would be pretty for, you know, for late spring. Huh? I do have that. I could get one more though. For down in, and I use it out on my red wagon but what I found with my Easter stuff I am I'm gonna pick one of these up since it's 50% off today 50% off for $40 you guys so that'll be $20 but that's worth it to me to look they have geraniums too that's cute I'm gonna head down here I try not to take people in my videos because you just never know. People might not want to see themselves on YouTube. <laughs> so I'm trying to be really careful. I just read 
Fern, if you're watching me here, do this. I will get back to you, honey. I just saw your comment right before I walked in here about how you're wanting to start a YouTube channel. And honey, I am pretty new to this myself, but I will be glad to talk with you about it and see if there's anything I can do to help and give you some hints of what I've figured out lately. So uh, one thing is when you're out and about, and if, if you're out and about, do keep your camera off of other people as much as possible unless you ask them because that can, you know, obviously, I mean, common sense would say that everybody might not want to be on YouTube. Here are all of their lanterns, which are on sale, and I do not need another lantern. But of course I'm drawn here. It's like there's a magnet in this aisle for me. Candle holders are on sale. I love this mercury glass, you guys. I might need to get two of those, you guys. Why couldn't I make the Gerber Daisy arrangements in those? Aren't they pretty? <gasps> and they could go in my, on my, like my credenza in my family room. Uh-huh, yep, okay, so. I don't have, you know, I should have made one of my bedrooms nautical. Be cute. But I didn't, so I'm not going to switch it out now. Yeah, thank you. The United States of America. Love that. It just kills me that they've come out with this duct tape. All different colors. How fun is all that? I've ever shown you back there either. Let me go back here a minute. I don't tend to come back here because I am not a drawer or a painter. But for those who are, check it out. kinds of colors and brushes ball size shape length and girth goodness gracious You know that clock I got at with my hem sign or my hem plaque? This is where I got it. And I used a 40% off discount coupon that day because I'm not sure they ever go on sale. They're not on sale this week either. Or maybe I just missed a week. There's the clock that I have up there. And it was $50 and I used a 40% off discount coupon. They've got all kinds of cool looking clocks. Or not coppery, uh, gold color tinged. That would be really pretty if you had a dark wall. 
It has a touch of blue in it, I think. Wouldn't that be pretty? If you had a dark wall. Oh. And put those on like other side of a mirror or over a mirror. Oh, my little brain's just going crazy in here. Here's where I got my little birdhouse to go on my red and white gingham wreath. And here's the birdhouse that's on that really pretty wreath that I did that sits on the back of my front door. I'm good, I can tell y'all prices. This was $17, $18, and it's, I'm sure I got it for 40% off. Because I, as you all know, very rarely buy anything that is not on sale. They have lovely cards, Christian cards in here. I tend to buy a lot of my cards in here. I love them. Seem to say just what I would like them to say. Here's their summer aisle. I'm trying. Look at the ladybugs. Miss Carrie. Look, look, look. Aren't they cute? <laughs> you should make yourself a, a wreath with these ladybugs. That would be really cute. Keep coming back to this and it's 40% off. Love is patient. I've been buying that, haven't I, you guys? Love is patient. Does not envy, does not boast, is not proud, is not selfish, is not angry, keeps no record of of wrong, hates evil, loves truth, love never fails. Yeah, I'm going to have to break down and get that. I really like that. He's got a little bit of that green in his eyes. Hmm. Well, I just came out of Kirkland's. And I am so excited, you guys. Oh my gosh. You are not going to believe what I found in Kirkland, Kirkland's. And I'm excited. So I will do a haul when I get home. I'm heading home now. Because it's 2 o'clock, gracious. And we need to have the car over to Costco by about 3.30. So as y'all know, it takes me a while to get home. So I need to get home and try to do a quick haul for you guys. Hi everyone, I'm back, uh, and I'm going to do a real quick haul here. I picked up this garland, and I'm going to be using it in the red wagon out on the front porch, for down in the wagon. I have one like this all ready to go over the top of the crate that I have out there. And this was 50% off of $40, so this was $20, and I will use mason jars. And I will most likely, most definitely, make arrangements with red and white Gerber daisies and some other things in these. And these will sit on my credenza when I go to redecorate. So I did get two, and they were each $9.99, 50% off of $9.99. And I think I'll probably put that up in the turquoise room, although it could go out in the living or dining room too. Mr. Eagle. I'll sit him out in the living room to go along with that picture and check out he's got kind of that green color in his eyes so he will sit out there in the living room on one of those tables or in my secretary out there so all told I spent $59 at Hobby Lobby and show you what I purchased at Kirkland's. Wait till you see this. I am really excited about this. Only problem is I've made work for Chris. I didn't know that I made work for Chris, but I made work for Chris. And he's so sweet. He'll do it. But I just hate to, I hate that. That I did not realize that I did that. But I'll show you what I mean in a second. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, here I am in my foyer. Let me back up a little bit. The living room right there. Dining room over here. See those pictures? <laughs> I have been looking for something to go on either side. Pick one of these up, carry it over here. 
on either side of the foyer here. And how much more perfect could those be? I don't think they could be any more perfect. So I got one for each side and they're kind of mirror images of one another. And actually a little girl that I met in Kirkland's told me that. I was like, oh, I didn't even realize that. So they are definitely mirror image. So they're not exactly the same, but they are very similar. So I'm going to put one on that wall, or Chris will, <laughs> and one on that wall. But there's a problem with this wall. Want to know what it is? The doorbell. Ugh. What in the world? So that picture is too tall. So Chris is going to move the doorbell. <laughs> Bless his heart. So... I would take them back, but I've been looking for so long for something that would be perfect for here. And these would be, they're nice and big and they make a statement and I don't have to have a table under them. They are nice standalone pieces. So I'm gonna take him up on his offer to move the doorbell. So we'll get those up. All right, I got to run you guys. We've got other things to do today. So I will close this video for the day and say, until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.